As they say, time is relative. The measure of any two clocks depends on how they move in relation to one another, as demonstrated by special relativity. Each clock moves slower in relation to one another the faster their relative speeds are. Since far-off galaxies are accelerating away from us, time should also be moving more slowly, right? That is correct, but we must be careful not to misunderstand what is happening. The fact that each observer will perceive time at the same rate is one of the key concepts to keep in mind. Another thing to remember is that special relativity does not apply universally when gravity and dark energy are involved. Although general relativity is required for that, the outcomes are essentially the same. Galaxies that are far away from us are not traveling across space at a rocket speed. Instead, the distance between those galaxies and ourselves is growing through space. They have a high redshift because of this cosmic expansion which causes their light to be shifted to the red. The apparent period between ticks and tocks is also stretched by the cosmic expansion, giving the impression that time in those galaxies moves more slowly than it does to us. One of cosmology's predictions is that time should appear to flow more slowly when we gaze at far-off objects delving into the deep and ancient universe. Time in the early cosmos appeared to move more slowly from our perspective. Much more slowly. Scientists have now solved one of the puzzles surrounding Einstein's expanding universe by witnessing the early universe moving in extremely slow motion for the first time. If you don't know how time and time dilation works, you can click on the I button on the top right corner and watch our video about time dilation. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, the universe in the past should have moved far more slowly than it does now. Looking back that far in time has been difficult though. The mystery has now been solved by scientists utilizing quasars as cosmic clocks. When we look back to when the universe was just over a billion years old, we notice that time seemed to move five times more slowly. Because of Einstein, we are aware that time and space are interwoven and that the universe has been expanding ever since the Big Bang. As a result, time should appear to move considerably more slowly when we observe the early cosmos than it does now. Despite how strange this may seem, we have proof for it. We observe a time dilation effect when observing distant supernova. Because they all have a uniform maximum brightness and a constant light curve, which means that they all brighten and fade over roughly the same amount of time, type IA supernova are used as standard candles. Researchers have shown that a type IA supernova's light curve stretches out the farther away it is. In other words, a distant supernova brightens and fades more slowly than a nearby supernova. Distance seems to slow down time. This relationship between distance and time dilation ought to stay true all the way back to the cosmic microwave background, according to the conventional cosmological model. The evidence we have gathered is consistent with that notion, but it is fairly constrained. The universe is a little under 4 billion years old when the farthest distant supernova we have seen were created. But thanks to quasars, a recent study has demonstrated the model at much longer distances. Supermassive black holes found in early galaxies give rise to quasars, which are extremely potent active galactic nuclei. They are large, energetic black holes that produce energy as they gorge themselves on gas, dust, and other matter that is in their gravitational field, making them brilliant objects. Due to the fact that they were initially found to be prominent radio light sources, they are known as quasars or quasi-stellar objects. Unlike supernova, quasars don't generate light all at once, but they do have a temporal clock to them. Effects take some time to spread over the expanse of an active galactic nucleus due to the restricted speed of light. As a result, changes in a quasar's intensity are influenced by the size of the active galactic nucleus. Quasars of the same size therefore experience the same rate of intensity variation. Before this most recent study, it was impossible to tell if slower fluctuating quasars were a result of time dilation or if they were simply bigger active galactus nuclei. So, the group examined 190 far-off quasars at various wavelengths, 
they were able to establish a common measurement of the tick and talk of quasar variations by combining 20 years worth of data collected at green, red, and infrared wavelengths. Statistics showed a link when they compared the quasar's distances. The average speed of a quasar's clock decreases with distance. The research was able to extend time dilation observations all the way back to the first billion years of the universe's existence. A second from that time seems to last five seconds from our perspective. This is consistent with both the conventional cosmological model and general relativity. The general theory of relativity, which predicts that the distant universe should move considerably more slowly than the present, was confirmed, the researchers claimed, explaining what it all meant. Although not surprising, the outcome is just another fantastic technique to demonstrate that humans understand cosmic evolution. The universe truly did start with a Big Bang, where time seemed to flow considerably more slowly than it does now, and space is actually expanding because to dark energy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.